What is up guys, Tommy Riley, 123, your custom tactics king is here, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new, we bring these out daily, we also bring out squad builders, tutorials, player reviews, guys, we do it all, 6pm content included, make sure to share with a friend, and, and also, as always guys, turn on post notifications, you don't want to be missing out, we'll be bringing out some coaching in the future, so um, if you miss out now, you miss out forever really, <laughs> so guys, get involved, get involved, let's go, 433, fourth variation, one of the best counter attacks attacking formations in the whole game and not to mention with the 433 fourth variation which did absolutely amazing last time guys nearly 10k views on my video which shows you i know what i'm talking about the 433 i've kind of adjusted it slightly to be a bit more attacking but also made sure that it still has its power and its magic guys so let's get into it balanced defensive style width is going to be dropped to 45 depth remains 50 this the, the reason i'm doing this guys is because i want to make sure it's not too wide when i'm defending that that kind of width helps out because obviously it means down the wing people are not able to really create chances against you but in fifa really the trouble is making sure that you can defend the box so you want to make sure it's also compact so 45 width does that job 50 depth is good because it keeps it very very balanced um it just keeps your players kind of in place and make it does make sure that they don't mess around and go forward too much i know it's a counter attack information but i don't want to press with it too much at the moment uh, especially naturally i don't want it to be just pressing all the time um build up play guys we're going to be keeping a balance we don't need to mess around with that too much we're going to put on direct passing um in terms of the attack because direct passing just works it gets your players into the box and it gets them involved in the quickest way possible out of any formation really the 4 3 3 um build up play is balanced because we don't want you know there's already already a lot of space between players and we want to utilize that in a positive way guys so make sure they have unbalanced width is like i said last time 55 we just want to stretch out just a bit more the wingers and make sure that the sentiments are not too close together and they are doing the job perfectly as well players in the box is going to be six we're trying to really emphasize that ball going forward and the best way of doing that is by getting players to have that instruction on that they should be going into the box and um, creating chances from there corners one free kicks one just because we don't want to get counted guys now in terms of your instructions you want the strike on stay central, stay forward. You want them there all the time. And I'll show you why, guys. Because getting out of those positions against the press is the easiest when you're using the 4-3-3-4 uh, three, three, variation. Stay central, stay forward does the job for the striker who's going to be receiving the ball, especially from that uh, driven pass or driven long pass. Then your left mid and your right mid are going to be on uh, stay forward and get into box for cross and stay wide now the reason for this is because i want them to obviously stay forward to be there for the counter attacks get into box for cross uh, mainly because i want them to obviously be coming in at the back post especially with how op it is this year gain those players at the back post making sure they're making those runs in there and stay wide because i don't want them to cut in too much guys i want them to really stay out there and um, stretch out the opposition defense the more that the opposition has to worry about your wingers the more space in the middle guys and like i said before four space in the middle is what gets you the goals your cam guys is just going to be getting to box for cross the reason he's on stay forward is because sometimes i will want my cam to help bridge the gap between the two centimeters and the forward line so i want him to be on basic and not just staying up there and basically giving me no options in between get into box for cross though because i want him running up there and creating those chances for me from those um, positions where you can you know you can cut back to the cam who's running in as the fourth man now you have to do something very different here guys you want your one of your players to be on drop between defenders and cover center and then the other one on cover center guys the reason why you want them on drop between defenders is because this formation will get counted too easily if you don't do it properly guys and drop between defenders which i've been using on 4-3-3 formations um especially towards the end of the last patch you'll see in some of my videos just works perfectly because it covers the two center backs and helps you really defend cover center because obviously the middle needs to be covered and then the other one's just on cover center because you know he's supposed to be just kind of the middle man between that and the camp and that's exactly what Anton Bele does in this kind of a role now in terms of your um 
left back and your right back i just want them on step up guys i want the opposition to feel suffocated down the wings um especially with the right winger left winger being there and then they go past them just to see the right back left back step up and go sliding into them two feet in um comes for crosses on goalkeeper as always guys but going back to this left back right back thing if you guys are struggling with it and you feel like it's pushing up too much and you, there's too much space in between behind your back line make sure to just get them on stay back while attacking and that will solve the issue for you guys but now let's get straight into the gameplay here we go then guys 4 3 3 4 variation obviously like i said it's a counter attack information but if you're dominating your opponent will it still work absolutely it'll work look at chong by the way the review of him is out on my channel so you guys can check that out already he goes down the wing guys as i said before rapid down the wings Chong, Depay, should be 1-0. In my last video, Depay absolutely murdered the opposition. Got them quitting left, right and centre, guys. So, I would love to see a similar kind of thing from Depay here. But you could already see the little promise there from this formation uh, as we attacked a second ago. My opponent, obviously... Like I said, the left back, right back positions can be exposed if you're not careful um, or if you're not used to playing step up, guys. But that doesn't mean you should stop, you know. And the reason why step up is one of the most important instructions in this game is just because of its ability for you to get the ball back. Um, here we go with Firmino. Chong, beautiful. The pie straight in the middle. Look at this beautiful turn from the pie, by the way. Nice little step over move. I'm trying to really work some magic here. My opponent is trying to press up and yes, like I said, you have to be careful down the sides. But bang, we get the ball back and boom, driven pass, get straight to the striker. Like I said, the striker will always be there to receive the ball. And the pie is a perfect target match kind of striker for that. Look at this from Chong, by the way, into Bruno. Oh, it should be, should be 1-0. It really should be 1-0 by now. As we try and defend it. Oh, unlucky. Robertson. So we weren't defending nothing there, to be honest. The pie. Look at this from Klaus. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Referee, I can't be having this. Emiliano Martinez missed a penalty in the last video in case you missed it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to have that again. I'm going to have Chong stepping up to the plate. I'm going to have Chong stepping up. Oh, my God. Well, I am actually a fraud, aren't I? Like, I am a certified fraud, man. Oh, Chong, why are you falling over, man? Bruno gets it back, though. Like I said, there's that player that is going to be there trying to receive the ball in these positions where you'll be able to... Um, just win possession and get straight into the attack as my opponent breaks through my oh breaks through really breaks through and my team just decides to collapse um and i'm deciding to mentally collapse right now but bang get it straight to chong chong plays straight through to the pie guys that was two passes it's two passes and we're through one on one it's two passes and we're through one on one composure as well with the pie card and that's a goal i mean what more needs to be said, man? Maradona's coming at us, though, so we got to be careful. Get the ball back when Dombele. Depay, straight to Usman. Usman's making that run. Oh, that's unlucky, Usman. I was trying to do the actual um, ball scoop turn. Game didn't let me. But here's Depay. Played Chong. Chong header. Oh, I forgot head. I keep getting it wrong, because heading is manual. Um, but that's okay. Look at Chong's head, man. Look at Chong's head, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it from Chong, man. That commitment to get hit on the head like that. Here we go. Opponent counter attacking. We ain't gonna have that. Bruno. Beautiful from Kimpembe. Look at that move from Kimpembe as well. Unbelievable. Honestly, unbelievable. Here we go. Emily Martinez clears it to Kimpembe. Great pass. Oh, I tried to get Chong involved way too early. And sometimes you'll have that issue where it will be an offside. Uh, just because of, people will play a lot of offside traps against you. And since you're already counter-attacking, your players will be out running up there very quickly. Because they want to attack super quick. Chong, beautiful. Even though the game glitched for a second. Bruno, beautiful. Depay. Oh, I should have turned on his left. But the guy left his left. Which was... Wow. Wow. Which I was going to say was going to be a bit weird. But guys, you can see how the striker is always in position to receive the ball in the middle, man. And you really, that's why you get them on staying central, guys. Because look, the pie, whatever happens, he's in the middle. Our left winger is obviously creating chances for us. Running in there, Bruno. Unlucky. 
unlucky. I thought the cross would be it. As my opponent is trying to work you some kind of magic, but it's, that magic is very unlucky. Oh, the pie. Come on. So the pie scores all that, yeah. But then when it comes to his right foot, green finesse in the box. Perfect angle. Unreal. As my opponent tries to break through with Mbappe. But as you guys can see, that kind of speed that Mbappe has does absolutely nothing to stop us um, from successfully getting the ball back. Bruno with a little spin of Rooney. Bruno's still going. I'm not going to... I don't want to pass to Endombele first time, but I just didn't go to him. Look at this little press I'm doing here. Look at this press I'm doing. Chouamini is obviously coming from that position in defence where he was dropping in between defenders. Um, and look, look, I don't know what the ref is actually on in this game, actually. He just keeps going against me as we tackle him very easily there. Get the ball straight to the pie. The pie is running through. The pie with a little chip. The pie finishes it and the pie makes the guy quit. And, and you know what? I Once again, I didn't mean for it to all to rhyme, but I am just such a G, guys. And what can I do about it? That's just me. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helped you at least a bit, this 4-3-3. Um, it's an insane formation, really. Didn't get as much counter-attacking as I would have liked to, but... Wow, what a formation here. Funny goal, by the way, guys. And obviously, the first goal... Look, one, two, bang, we were through. And that's what this formation does, guys. It's just an absolutely relentless formation when it comes to counter-attacking. You literally sleep for a second, the guy will be through. And guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it's helped you at least a bit, guys. And, you know, I hope it will help you with game rank 1, as are all my other tactics. Until next time, peace.